Welcome back to Pinot Crossover. Mark here, Mark here. All about the Raptors. I want to know, because you guys already know from the, from the interview at Jurassic Park how it went through with me, but I want to know about these guys here. How was your Game 6 experience watching it and seeing how it unfolded? I, I cried. <laughs> Same thing. We all cried. Yeah, like, I cried happen. every... Yeah. Throughout the series, every se series I've cried. I think from the time from Philly to Milwaukee up until now, I think I just bawled my oh, eyes out, yeah. basically. So yeah, I was jumping for joy. I was thrilled. It was great. Yeah. Where were you at when, uh, when this happened? Uh, well, my experience, you know, like emotion-wise, it's similar to, to everyone kind of, you know, who who would be considered Raptors fans. I cried as well. Um, it, it, Thank was, you. It, it was a very surreal experience. Yeah. Um, I was actually out of town. I was in a small town uh, in Prince Edward County um, uh, celebrating my wedding anniversary. Um, and uh, we were able to watch at a hotel. And as soon as the buzzer sounded, as, you know, as delayed as that, that whole experience seconds. was, yeah, yeah. Um, everyone was like, up in arms, like jumping around. I, I remember I was just hugging, you know, pure strangers yeah. that were in like <laughs> arm's length. I did that um, too. Some random around. strangers in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. That's my it. my wife was taping the whole thing, and I was screaming at the screen, screaming at the camera she was holding in front of me, um, but definitely elated, um, and like it was almost like an out of body experience, yeah. right? Yeah. You're like just like. Did it it really happened. Happen. Like yeah, my yeah, heart yeah. dropped yeah. to my stomach. Yeah. Did you guys check like... the morning after if it was a dream or because I had that a couple of messages. I, I couldn't like, sleep because yeah. I knew I had, I had work the next morning, yeah. so I'm just like, I, I couldn't sleep until like six a.m. I'm like I'm like lying down in bed. I'm like, we we won. Yeah. yeah. Like I just I couldn't take it. I couldn't fathom the idea that like we actually won the championship. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, it, it's it's been a long time it's coming, right? Yeah. Time, yeah. yeah. And you know, these things don't happen to us Toronto oh. fans. Yeah, 24 and, years in the making. A lot of people game. don't even experience in their lifetime about yeah. their t team or their, uh, their team, their city winning a championship. And For sure. To be able to do, oh my God. Yeah, For so sure. like, let's think about it this way. It was 26 years ago when the Jays won the mm -hmm. World Series and now fast forward. Here we at. Here we at, at it again. Mm -hmm. And it was just yeah. like, what? It was also, what, 26 years ago before the Jays won the World Series with the Maple Leafs yep. that won yeah. the Stanley Cup. So I'm just like, I hope 26... So do we have to, do we have to wait another 26 years? I hope yeah. 26 is in our number, but I'm really hoping for that back-to-back -back like, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. So. It's possible. It's possible, it yeah. Is. yeah. Talk to me through the parade. Like, how did you guys... How did you guys prep for your parade? Like, how, what was your... I know we lost each other. We, we were trying to get other, to... Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment too that we did uh, with Filipino TV. With, at the Raptors parade, like how did you prepare for that parade? Where were you at? <laughs> uh, like both of you, I was yeah. I was at Nathan Phillips Square. Yeah. Um, I stood in one place for about eight hours, oh. only because you know <laughs> that's what you did uh, as you awaited the team to get there. Yeah. Um, as long of and as hot of an experience as it was, it was definitely worth it. I wouldn't have traded it for the world. Yeah. You know, like you'd mentioned earlier. You know, I'm surprised that it happened in my lifetime yeah. at an age that we were all able to, like, appreciate Treat it. it. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I, I experienced it, it yeah. you know. What was your favorite highlight of that whole par uh, parade speech, whichever? There were so many different things that happened. <laughs> I mean... I mean, when what? Kawhi did his last laugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's probably his highlight, right? So. Yeah. I didn't expect that, that he was going to do... That he oh, mocked but, himself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but it was perfect. Yeah, yeah you know, and, and like Ingrid, I, that was the highlight of the That's parade for me. Yeah, I like that too. Um, what about the, uh, the plant guy that finally uh, gave his plant? <laughs> yeah, oh, he yay. finally did. Yeah. He did it. <laughs> it's, I swear he was drunk, <laughs> so, but... <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was crazy. I think that was the only time where public drinking was legal, legal. that day. Because mm. every, like, I remember watching a video where someone threw a Hennessy bottle at Norm. Yeah. He caught it. He drank, he drank from it, it. Yeah. and then gave it, like, I don't know if he, he signed it or anything, but he gave it back to them, yeah. too, yeah. so I'm just like, wow. Yeah. I think probably, also another biggest uh, highlight was uh, Marc Gasol. Well, he was just like, <laughs> the <laughs> life of the party. All I saw was this on like, the video, <laughs> the he's like, time. celebrating, yeah. chugging, you know, chugging the wine bottle. Like cash, yeah. That was insane. I liked also, um, there was a point, I think, where it was Drake and Fred that was just like mm. right at each other and Pointing they were just like, yeah. oh, are you the, me? When the meme comes to And the meme is just like, yeah. just yeah. Kinda, there were so many different highlights, I mean, the whole time, even at, um, when, when they were already at the stage, mm. when they had, I mean, you know, John Tory was there and then Justin yeah. Trudeau, everybody was there. And um, 
I didn't see much of Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry was the one holding the championship trophy the yeah. whole time. Yeah, he had the Larry OB from for yeah. the majority of the yeah. of the parade. Yeah. I, you know? I, he deserved it. I mean, he's I he's our like longest he raptor and everything. Yeah. Seven yeah. years, yeah. And st- I'm still counting. So yeah, there was a there was a debate too in terms of like, is he already like you know a Hall of Famer because or, or like the greatest of raptor of all time because of what he has achieved and how long he's been at the franchise? I think that's an argument that can be made. Yeah. Um, Hall of Famer, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I, I I know for a fact that there's players that have done less that are that are in the Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that argument can be made. But in terms of like from a fan base, like Kyle Lowry now has our hearts, right? Yeah. Like, and he's our hero, mm-hmm. and he's the leader of the team. Yeah. Let alone, but that kind of turned around from like a couple years back. Oh, yeah. where a lot sure. of people yeah, bash on him, like him. Oh, yeah. trade him, and whatever. And his contract and was like yeah. this was you know way overpaid for players. Yeah, the first game yeah. of this year's playoffs, people were like, all right, here we go again. Yeah, yeah. See. you know, but yeah. he's, he's not looked at that way yeah. that way anymore. So, yeah. well, then what's next for the Raptors from then? Uh, what's you know. What's the next move for, for Masai, for the Raptors franchise? I mean, Masai this? was given an offer with the Washington, what, the rumor. Wizards? It rumor. Yeah, it was rumor. a rumor, which yeah. I think rumor. was turned down yeah. now because the president is saying that we're not looking for apparently, president until... Apparently, yeah. But would you take 10 mil, though, for that? Oh. Yeah, just to... Tough. If you're Masai? Yeah. I don't know. I think there's rumors that, like, money, equity, you know, the, you know charity work yeah. or charity opportunities. Yeah. Who knows, right? But, but I just feel like if Washington... Offered him that much, but with the with the franchise that's like plummeting a little bit, it's just like yeah, it's not an attractive situation. No, it's not. Which is probably why they're offering all this incentive for him. They kind of have to. They have to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just a matter of the biggest question is is Kawhi staying, right? Yeah, and and I think in your feel right now, in 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 terms of like what's next, like you know that's going to be the the first the first you know thing that has to happen, Mm -hmm. and a, a lot of. Uh, what's going to happen after that is going to be going to be that ripple it. effect for us. Yeah, for sure. Like I think Danny Green, he was on the Breakfast Club like yesterday, yeah, yesterday yeah. and he'd even mentioned like in an interview, he's like, he's going to wait to see what Kawhi does, yeah. and you know, and that'll affect what his decision is. And I'm sure everyone else on the roster is going to feel the same way. So I see that. Yeah, and there's something also I want to say to our fans or to the Raptor fans, basketball out there. I, you know, because I've been seeing this a lot in, in media, in, in Six Buzz, in, in a lot of videos. I just wanted to kind of put it in their perspective too that Kawhi is the kind of player that, you know, he's a super sub, but he kind of, he's not the kind of person that would want that kind of attention. And I feel like what we're doing right now, you know, not a lot, you know, real Raptor fans know what to do, which is leave him alone, let him, you know, yeah. we've given him all yeah. this attention. We treat him like a king, but now that he's off season, leave him alone and let him have you know a normal life for once. Like, right? Because I mean, every he time went to Niagara Falls with yeah. his family, and then right? there's photos so, everywhere. Yeah. He goes to the Jay-Z everywhere. Yeah, he, he goes, goes to, to get home, boxes. Yeah, Home Depot. Yeah. Like as a real fan, like I just wanted you know to give him the space to kind of figure out because I think when Masai did this uh, did this kind of risk or mm. trade, he's saying that either we win a championship or not, or we lose Kawhi. He did one of the two. Like, you know, he's yeah. done everything that we could for a franchise. Yeah. He, did, he gave us a trophy. And I feel like at this point, we've done everything we could as a city to convince sure. him what we could provide for him. I agree. Sure. And I feel like now we just have to give him space and time to just basically make your decision. Whatever you decide, we've done. He doesn't owe us anything, yeah. if you really think about it. Because he, he gave us a chance. That's what I'm saying to you guys, like I, you know, real Raptor fans. I don't know what it is. Just give him the space and let him, you know. I- <laughs> Enjoy the city because if he's not going to enjoy the city because you guys are all over him, why would he want to stay? I, I just, <laughs> it's easier said than done. Yeah, yeah. there's from, so much excitement from all these yeah. fans. Yeah. So I guess like they, they don't, like it's a very young crowd. Like that's probably our biggest, what, in the franchise or like for our fan base, right? We're yeah. very young. So I feel like. I feel like we're, we're finding ways <laughs> to mess it up because when we have something so good, we yeah. don't know how to kind of keep it. Put it this way. Yeah. It, it comes with the territory. Yeah. yeah. They know this. Yeah. And I'll tell Kawhi, I'm sure it doesn't get any easier in L.A. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, now you have like professional paparazzi following you. Yeah. And top of fans. So, yeah. you know, it is what it is. But that's what happens when you're a celebrity, right? Well, what happens so. when you become our superstar. Yeah. And, yeah. and this is what happens when, when you bring the, the whole country, right? the whole country yeah. is in yeah. your hands. Right. Yeah. I mean, so. it, like, like it's, he. I'm just hoping like, that it doesn't deter his decision. That yeah. he's he's pretty solid with how he makes his decision, and it's not based on how like you know all. Sometimes fans get crazy and just like be all over him when he's just yeah. getting yeah. going to Niagara with his daughter, or yeah. going to get boxes at Costco, sure. or going to For Home sure. Depot. For sure. I just hope that 
we find ways to make it enjoyable for him. For sure. I mean, Kawhi and Dan is doing that already, but I mean, just I hope he makes that decision based on what he feels for his family and for his career, as opposed yeah. to what yeah. some fans well, who don't know how to treat you properly. I I, uh, I read a report that you know when the time comes and when he sits down to think about it, he's gonna have a list of pros and cons and <laughs> kind of weigh out what his options are. And I think, you know, from a Toronto standpoint. I'd like to say that there's more pros and cons, and like that alone, like will help make him make the right decision. And I think that's in Toronto. Yeah. So, but I could be a bit biased. And we all know how Kawhi it will, how Kawhi is. Like we don't really know him, but like the way that he is is just like what like he doesn't really look five steps ahead. It's just like it's basically the next step. So, yeah. what's he going to do after he wins the championship? Everyone's talking about his free agency. Everyone's talking about like. What are you going to do now? He's just like, I'm just going to enjoy the championship. Yeah, for sure, as just, he should. He just wants to enjoy simple. the moments, He's a right? Very simple like, kind of player. It's so it's so simplistic of how he is, right? Yeah. So he wants to enjoy it, and then when the deadline comes, like, and he was telling yeah. all reporters, all analysis is just like, you know, when the date is, you know, when mm -hmm. to talk to me then, yeah. and then you'll find out when. So that's just the way he is, right? Yeah. So I feel like, you know, as much as we want to push him, like. Overall, it is his decision because he is that he is that kind of person where nothing really affects him in any way possible. So, I, agree. I hope he stays. I hope he stays. That's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But what well, happens if he doesn't stay, though? That's the only thing. That's that's what we got to find out. That's right? okay too. He yeah. doesn't know us anything. He doesn't so. know. Yeah, no, he's so true. low key. Well, that's all we have, guys. So, Pinot crossover. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Before we end the show, any last words you want to give to our fans, to your audiences? Cameras right there. Hey. Toronto Raptors fans, <laughs> we're, we're 2019 NBA champions. Let's just enjoy it. And we'll see what happens in the offseason. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, awesome. Anything you want to say? What's up next for Rise Tribe, actually? Uh, yeah, with Rise Tribe, um, we're now planning for our late summer fall activations. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, we're continuing to work with MLSC um, for some of the Filipino heritage um, type events that we're uh, wanting to bring to the community. We also have um, uh, an award show and additional mentorship uh, activations or, or events that we're planning for, I guess, the third quarter of the, the calendar year. Um, so that's what's in store. Uh, follow us on rise underscore tribe um, on Instagram and rise tribe uh, on Facebook. Awesome. Any last words, Ingrid? Thanks to all the Raptors fans and everything. You know, I like what you said. Finally, after how many years, 24 years, 24 seasons, we finally made it. And, you know, be sure to check us out. More to come for us as we're about to wrap up our season. Uh, be sure to check us out on social media at Pinoy Bounce. And, yeah. <laughs> awesome. awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy this. As NBA champions, we guys kind of milk this until <laughs> next it. season. Enjoy it. And other than that, guys, stay balling.